Hey Libra, welcome to your general love read. Today we're going back, flash to the past, okay, to the original spread that Spirit asked me to do for this channel. All right, we're going to see what Spirit wants to address for the overview, past, current, and future possibilities. Okay, for those of you that are new, welcome. I am an intuitive, so much of what you see on my channel may not feel traditional. Okay, just take what feels light to you, release all the rest. Um, roles can be reversed in this. I could be picking up on energy that's really old that maybe you just had coming up to the surface. I could be picking up on somebody that's approaching you or energy that's approaching you. Okay, or if you are in a third party, their storyline and not yours. So again, swap roles if you need to release anything that is not yours. For those of you that are returning, thank you. I appreciate you. You are a quarter of my heart, Libra, because you are a quarter of my sign, all right? So let's see what's going on here. Okay, what whoever's been dealing with a situation of mirroring, like something is about to show itself all right a birth a new beginning here okay and the intention here for the reading is it's almost like let's get back to what feels right to regular life to the ordinary right and as such I feel like it's just a progression right like Let's just act like nothing happened and let's just move on with ourselves, okay? So, let's take a look here, shall we, Libra? Okay, overview. Past. Current. All right, so the overview here, six of pentacles, right? It's like the return of equal give and take, okay? So um, from one hand to the other, somebody's showing up, okay? In the past, princes of cups in reverse with the five of wands. Okay, perhaps there was a very big holdback of how you truly felt. But that's because you needed to learn a lot of lessons, especially, I feel like, ugh, lots of energy coming in. But I feel like it was especially because you needed to learn how to speak your truth. Okay, how to be authentically you in the situation. Current energy. We have the King of Wands, like somebody, like I feel like, right, boom, I'm showing up to give this equal give and take, like somebody's like taking a stand, right? Like showing up, Ooh, look at me, look at how I've turned out, sort of an energy, okay? I got my cape on and everything. And the future energy here is strength. And it could be, right, like somebody's honoring their individuality. Like, I'm not, I'm not a lion. I'm a tiger, okay? And I can be a strong tiger and not have to be a lion. And what that means is I walk into the unknown instead of walking towards the sun, right? So it's somebody taking a step that they may have been fearful to take in the past. So let's clarify here. Okay, Six of Pentacles crossed by the Five of Cups. Okay, just when you think that this is over and you got down to your very last cup, this last magical cup, right? That's when, boom, everything kind of just comes back. 
Yeah, right? Like you've been hiding out, perhaps, working on yourself, healing yourself, recovering four of swords. You still had the intention here, but you've turned away from this completely. In the past, right? Yeah, there was a death to rebirth. It was actually meant to not be open Okay, when this all started, because there was a lot of lessons to, like, come through the dark night, all right? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Perhaps you needed to release old wounds, old family wounds, old childhood wounds. For some of you, you may have had to really address, okay, what does family mean to me? What does a relationship mean to me? Okay, because in this Ten of Pentacles here, right, everyone's holding pentacles, right? Like, is that what it's all about? Is it just all about the Benjamins, right? For some of you, that's what you were taught. And with the chariot here, Spirit was like, no, we need to address this differently, okay? Okay. I'm going to take the wheel and I'm going to teach you some lessons. King of Wands, current energy. Okay. Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Someone is walking away from something before they're 100% sure that they can even grow something in the future. Right? But they've got their cape and they've got their purpose. And I feel like that's the important part here. Okay. Yeah. All right. Knight of Swords in reverse. Somebody is doing this out of pure faith. Okay. Pure faith. Again. Strength in reverse. I am not a lion. I'm tired of wearing that mask. Okay. But what I do believe in is something higher. Higher purpose. Higher love. Higher everything, right? And so blind leap of faith here is what this king of wands is doing. You shush. Shush. Okay. Strength. Two of Swords. Again, blind leap, right? I don't know what I'm going to get out of this. Again, I'm not a lion. I am walking away from what appears to be happiness towards something that I don't even know if it's going to work out. But I'm having blind faith in this. Right? My ego's got me second guessing, Five of Swords. Like, this person is very uncertain. Okay. King of Pentacles and Temperance, right? My faith is that I will land on top. All things will balance out if I choose my purpose. All right, and bottom of the deck here. Okay, is King of Cups. So this person is having, right, their, their eyes are closed here. I'm letting my heart lead me. Okay, I'm letting my heart lead the way. Blind faith. Five of Cups here. Okay. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles with the shaman, like you could have, you really could have gone from being somebody very traditional and as you've shed through all of this that you've, as you've been, you know, releasing all of these old cups, like you could have turned into this like extra spiritual, like woo-woo person here, okay? And as such, you're finding the truth of happiness 
is inside of those bowls. Okay, the truth of happiness is in those cups. It's in the love, it's in the heart. It's not in the dollars, okay? Seven of wands, all right? Again, you're not showing your hand, so to speak, but you are following your heart and it is this wish you're just following, blind faith. This is my North Node, this is my North Star, this is where I am meant to go, this is where I am going, okay? In the past, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, King of Wands. All right. Somebody could have felt in the past, right, like they couldn't shed. I have to be this way. This is what everyone else has been like. This is what I have to be like. I have to be the traditional. Okay. Death and Rebirth. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. But this, this one is a wild stallion, right? This one is different. So it's taken some time, but somebody is breaking free of the traditional route. And some of this has to do with spirit, with the chariot. Okay, yeah. Spirit has made you listen to your heart, has shown you through your own intuition that your heart is speaking and what to let go and what to create because of it. Knight of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, okay. Again, realizing here, Four of Wands, celebration, that sometimes the happiest times is just around the fire pit. Okay, you don't need all the fancy. You just need those that you want and desire with you around the fire pit, right? Like that's happiness, that's joy. Okay, Knight of Swords in reverse, Seven of Arrows, right? You're no longer running from the things that you kept secret in the past. Okay, you healed that. You're pulling away all those insecurities, okay, to be your true authentic self. Strength in reverse with the hair fat. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's crossed by this nine of swords. All right. Because you realize that the arrows that people throw, they're not really intended for you. They're just coming out of some sort of sense of frustration from people. It's their own stories, it's their own expectations, it's where they're at. And it has nothing dedicated to do with you. Okay, and the Hierophant here, it really took, I feel like, seeing that these arrows weren't meant for you and then addressing what the arrows were, four swords transforming to make you see the more spiritual light side of this. Like, here's my cape. Like, I might look stupid wearing a cape, but that's who I am, okay? I see myself clearly now. Okay, two of swords and the five of swords. Okay, here's the knight of swords. Okay, watch you like a hawk. Okay, and now I see two of cups and the sun. I see that we are made for each other. We are made to create happiness together, right? We work together. We work well together. This could be someone from your work, okay? But we are meant for this partnership. And I have to admit and accept that this partnership makes me extremely happy. Okay, I cannot run from that anymore. King of Pentacles here. Yep, the Ace of Cups. Sometimes the greatest abundance is the largest cup, right, of love. And I feel like crossing, that's what this temperance has been all about. 
Yeah. And somebody else seeing, right? Just how much love you truly have to offer. And what that means. There we have the lovers, right? Again, this could be somebody at work here with the Eight of Pentacles. But it really could have taken a lot of work to get to this point where you acknowledge like heart over pocketbook. And again, this is blind faith. You're taking a leap of faith. Could have been a little push <laughs> from the universe. But you're just believing that you will be fine. All right. So let's see. Let's get a few cards from the universe. Nine of Wands. Okay. It's almost as if you joined this sort of sacred circle. And in it, you were able to speak your truth. And through that speaking of your truth, that's where you found this faith, this blind faith that you didn't even know that you had. Okay, Knight of Swords. And when you found it, you rose from the fire, okay, like the phoenix with this clarity of who you are, where you're going, is all about emotion, passion, and not about logic. But Two of Pentacles here says, understanding that there is balance, okay? And that as you give to your purpose in truth, everything else will balance out, okay? So let's pull an oracle to close this out. If you've enjoyed the reading so far, please make sure you click on that like. That is how this message gets out to more people. Sharing, commenting, subscribing. It's a thank you to Spirit and helps the channel tremendously. Okay? Yeah, you may have realized that intentionally you have been playing it safe. And everything beautiful and fun requires leaping over the fence and seeking out with purpose. Okay? Um, the trick has been that you've been behind this mask. And it's about how do I then open myself up to come here authentically, right? To be in my authentic cape wearing self and just know and honor that that's who you're meant to be. Okay. So I hope this helped you. It was a little woo-woo today, guys. A little more woo-woo than usual. But I hope it helped. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your week. And I hope to see you next time. All right. Bye.